so excited. And I was showing my brother the consistency earlier. It's like a Play-Doh almost. <laughs> I've never had it before, Clemmy. This is new. So it is a purple yam. So I'm thinking like starchy, kind of sweet. Nice, Dave. Thank you for the update. Yeah, purple food. And it's also my favorite color. So excited for this. So we're, we'll do one more pass just to see if we can get it a bit finer. Otherwise, it might be a bit too like gritty or grainy. A little bit more. Awesome. That'll be, That'll be perfect. And I don't know if anyone else has ever used. It's good. Has ever used rice flour, but it does have this little bit of like coarseness to it. It's not fine, fine and like super smooth. So yeah, if you want to do this for yourself, just keep that in mind, is you'll always have that bit of coarseness to it. Mickey, how are you doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, this thing is just a lifesaver. We've done our own durum wheat semolina with it too, to make pasta before. Just lovely. So yeah, now that I know I can do this, I'm never gonna go buy rice flour again make my own. You're just doing that one now? He needs my phone chat. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair up and then away we go. We'll go over the menu, the recipes for the day. We're also gonna do some Vietnamese coffee today. So I hope Vune stops by because he wanted that. Even got the special percolators and everything. <laughs> Sammy. Where can one what? buy this machine from? So this is an attachment, Clemmy, for my stand mixer, the Incarce Room. So it's not just a separate mill, but you can buy like nice little countertop mills. They're a bit pricey though. We'll say that, but I think they're made to last, right? Yeah, this is from my stand mixer. It's freaking amazing. When you get near the end, just give it a taparoo to keep it going through. It's so, so satisfying. So. The component, like all the outside pieces are plastic, but all of the internals are metal, which I think is important. What? Kate, let's take on a whole roast Christmassy sirloin. Wait, a sirloin? I'm in. Is that what you usually do, Mish? I've never roasted a sirloin before. And thank you. I know we were bugging everyone yesterday to start redeeming their pots and pans points again. Mish saved up 75,000 and she has requested me to take on a whole roast Christmassy sirloin, AKA we'll be doing that in December. So thank you for thinking ahead as well, Mish. Yeah, great idea, right? If you know there's a holiday coming up and you wanna see me make something for it, ask ahead, then you can learn. You had it in the UK. You'll have to guide me then. I would like to take this time to send some love to Happy Chef, though. Oh, yeah. He's currently in the hospital for some sort of bacterial infection. So let's send some love his way. Yeah, I saw. I don't know if anyone else watches Happy Chef TV. He's another food streamer out of the Netherlands. But yeah, he is now in the hospital. Like, first it started with his belly, and he's like, sorry, guys, I won't stream today. Second tweet was he has a bacterial infection. Third one, he's in the hospital. So yeah, that is some serious stuff. Very worried. <laughs> Just turn it down a bit more because that means it's probably close to being done. Yeah, hugs before. Uh, usually have a standing rib roast for Christmas. We've done that lots too, Suki. Typically like a prime rib, right? It's, it's pricey though. Yeah, you've done prime rib as well, Chase, but not whole sirloins. That looks pretty, 
perfect or one more? Whoa. That's nicer than what you get from the store. Seriously. <laughs> the end sounds, please. That's amazing. Cookie, how are you? Look at this. We Bam. just made our own flour. rice flour. Good job. Thanks for the help, Samuel. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. So this was one cup of raw jasmine rice kernels. You call me Samuel because it's Sam Omdahl? Because Sam O? No. That's what it's like. That's how it used to be. Yeah? yeah. Sam O. Sam O. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to take down the mixer and then we'll go over what we're actually doing today. We just had to get this I finished. So what did that take? I think I started this around 11, 15 ish, uh, but did, we did stop. We did five minutes for like the initial test. Yeah. And then we did 15 minutes as the intro and we're at like nine, 10 minutes so 25 after. 25 minutes to do this. I'm sure if we did a larger batch, it'd probably take about 30 to 35 minutes to do the full. Offer. Right, because I only did a cup's yeah. worth. So obviously the more you put through, the longer it's going to take. Is that the sweeter coffee? I don't know if it's necessarily like it tastes sweeter, but they don't put sugar in it. We're going to go over what that is today. Have you had it before, Cookie? Show my new chopsticks. Sure, if you want. We also got some new chopsticks. So now we don't have to feel bad. Alloy. We couldn't decide. Well, we we did decide. I was like, I don't want metal. I don't like the feeling of the metal in my mouth for chopsticks. So we decided on the alloy compared to bamboo. I guess we'll see how we like it. So yeah, this just comes off of the incarcerum the same way that the meat grinder Ooh. goes on. So it just slides off. And there we go. And usually, so no water in this ever, right? Because otherwise you're going to make glue. And that is not what we're going for. So yeah, just tap it out afterwards. And that is it. I'm going to go do that. And then usually I just store it upside down. to make sure we don't get anything inside while we're not using it. <laughs> Is everyone having a good Sunday so far? I feel like this weekend just flew by almost quicker than our 24 hour stream. Little wipey. Away we go. Oh, cookie. Getting ready to make some lasagna. Such a good Sunday meal. That was really fun. I'm glad I looked that up. I was like, I'm not going to the store to get rice flour. Good, Clemmy, but very cold. Okay, what's going on here? Do I have this too high, maybe? Maybe. Looking forward to the snow soon. Yeah, I think ours is here to stay. For sure, Z's. Okay, so Cookie posted the menu. So purple yam, make sure that the yam is ube, 
very, very important. So the package, because there is different purple yams, the Japanese one won't work, they are saying. When I read through the recipe this morning. So made sure that it said ube on the package. And <laughs> look how purple it is. So I picked this up from the Asian market. And as you can see, it was frozen. So in the frozen section, buy like all the frozen fruits and stuff like that. This package was, I think, $3 or something. It was so inexpensive. And we're not even going to use all of that today. So we'll be able to make it again if we really like it. You have Amselb Castle on in Wales tonight. What's that? What's, what is this? So we're going to put that into a waffle. We have tapioca starch. We just made the rice flour with it. And then there's also all-purpose flour. And then to top the waffle, I thought we would go more of like a sweet route since it's my first time and I don't want it to taste like weird. So pineapple preserve, we got a fresh pineapple and we'll just slowly cook it in a pot until it's cooked down and really yummy. Maybe a touch of sugar, some vanilla in there, maybe like just a little pinch of cinnamon. And then I picked up some coconut cream. So different from coconut milk, I actually not use this a lot. So I'm excited to open up this can. Some of this goes into the waffle batter. And then I thought it would be nice if we kind of like blitzed it up with the hand blender to lighten it. And then also put a dollop of it on top. And then just some fresh mango. I was looking for like mango jellies, kind of like with boba, but they didn't have any. So I just picked up these really nice Atulfo mangoes. Perfectly soft. That's that. And then, yeah, our Vietnamese coffee. So maybe we'll start by just going over what that is. First thing that we will do today is actually make the waffle batter. I did read through the recipe this morning and you have to rest it for one hour before you use it. So that's actually kind of perfect. Now you want waffles, Mish? No, I don't even know what that is, Mickey. I have no idea. <laughs> So, Mr. Viet, real Vietnamese coffee. That's what I looked for. So on the back of the package, it says suitable for all of those processes. Tasting notes of caramel and vanilla. And I would say that is like 100% accurate. Interesting. 99.97% Arabica coffee beans. 0.03% weasel coffee flavor. Weasels. <laughs> weasel coffee. <laughs> okay, so we'll leave that there. And then the really special percolators are these little guys. So you can see the bottom. If you open up the lid. There's this, and then you untwist the little tamper, let's say, fill it up, pop that over the cup, and you slowly pour boiling water over and it drips through. So we'll definitely do it with that. And hello, yet it is. Happy Sunday, all. It's usually a pretty lazy day for me, but I made scones for breakfast and you're trying to finish playing Undertale. And thank you. Yeah, I'm so excited for today's menu. I've never had anything like this before. So, did we post up the recipes? Yes, we did. Thanks, Cookie. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just gonna turn the music down for myself. Like how we're talking about Vietnamese coffee and I'm like still drinking Rando's coffee. We're pushing it. Massive crash after stream today. Sometimes you gots to. Okay, so one of the links there, the last one is about Vietnamese coffee. I'm just going to read through this article. Feel free to read along. If you know anything about coffee, you may have heard of Italian roast, French roast, Spanish roast, or even Americano. These names are based on the preferred coffee stylings in those regions of the world. Yet, Vietnamese coffee is a whole different story. So what is it? 
Vietnamese coffee is made specifically with a Vietnamese coffee press. Dun, 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 dun. Excuse me. You'll need some Vietnamese coffee beans, condensed milk and boiling water. Yeah, sweetened condensed milk. Nom. Vietnamese coffee also has one of the highest caffeine contents of all coffee, usually over 200 milligrams per serving. I will say, make sure you hydrate really well. If you're someone that gets dehydrated easily when you drink Vietnamese coffee, just like from my experiences in the past, I sometimes can get a bellyache if I don't kind of prepare myself for that amount of caffeine all at once. And it is so tasty that it's hard not to chug. <laughs> Vietnamese coffee isn't made like any other coffee in the world. So let's spend some time going over the ingredients you'll need and how to actually brew it in your own home. So I'll show you, us how to brew it later. So I'm not going to read through that yet. So nearly all Vietnamese coffee and blesh. Blesh. Yeah. Is made of robusta beans particularly what we call Vietnamese coffee. What makes it unique in flavor is usually tasting rather bitter, but having earthy undertones as well. You can subtly adjust the bitterness of the coffee by adding more sweetened condensed milk or just some sugar. Hi, Torino. How are you? Yeah, so this one is a mix. Or they did more Arabica. So this is... They just made the package look good. It's actually not proper proper. And I couldn't find the... So the brand, Trung Nguyen. I have used that before. We were able to get it on the island. But for some reason, they didn't have much for Vietnamese coffee at the Asian market. Nom. Okay, I'm gonna put that all aside for now. Go over our ube waffle stuff that we need to get going. Like I said, that has to, the waffle batter has to rest for one hour before we even cook it. Torino's in a foul mood. I'm just gonna sit here and drink my coffee. Sounds good, dude. I hope that we can turn your day around. Sammy's playing. <laughs> Sammy's building a PC on his PC cookie <laughs> turn around pc building simulator oh sheesh that's gonna be a sheesh from me okay so ube waffles crispy outside and chewy mochi like inside which i haven't even had a ton of mochi before there's a sim for everything mish everything So this ube waffle is extraordinary with its ultra chewy mochi like centers with a light and crispy crust. Let's not even get started on the sweet and nutty flavor of this traditional Filipino purple yam. What is ube? Ube is an indigenous tuber from the Philippines that is well known for its sweet and nutty flavor profile, along with its vibrant purple coloring. Well, sometimes it gets confused with a purple sweet potato, like the Okinawan purple sweet potato. It's a completely different root. So the Okinawan purple sweet potato has pale brown skin and a deep purple center, whereas ube has very dark skin and sometimes a super purple or lighter purple center. It depends on the root. That is fair. Okay, so tips. Key flour ingredients are tapioca starch, rice flour and all-purpose flour. Having this trio of flour really helps create the best balance of chewy centers and crispy outer layer textures in the recipe. I've tinkered enough with the ratio of flours to notice that the more tapioca flour you add, the chewier it'll be. The more rice flour you add, the crispier the crust will be. So cool. Hello, Morbid Mistress. 
I am doing well. I hope you're doing good too. So yeah, she says, rest the batter at least one hour on the counter before making the, or like cooking the waffles. This helps the baking powder develop and you'll notice the batter will be slightly bubblier and smoother when it's done resting. Cook your waffles at medium high temp to get a nice and even crisp. I just from experience with ours, I just have it cranked the whole time. This is what we're using today. Boom. Not even anything fancy for a waffle iron. I've had it for years. You're doing amazing. That's so good to hear. Sweet. And yeah, one thing I like about this recipe is everything is weighed out in grams. So it'll always turn out the same. So do we have to use a mixer? No. Haha, <laughs> winning. Okay, yeah, I turned my waffles up to 11. I'm just gonna take a really quick bathroom break. Caffeination station has started and then we will get into this. Thank you, Cookie. Okay. So this recipe also, there was optional ube extract, which I wasn't able to find that. And I didn't really feel like it was something I would use after this. So I didn't want to buy something that would just kind of sit in the pantry. So since it was optional, and since this also looked just absolutely amazing with the color, I was like, I don't think we'll worry. She just said that the extract will make it more purple. That's about it. But just going by the photos of her ube puree, it wasn't nearly as purple as ours. So we'll be good to go. So instructions. Ube extract and puree method. We're just doing the ube puree. So measure out the ube puree and add it into a small bowl and then we whisk in water until it's evenly mixed. And she says that helps to mix it in with the rest of the ingredients because it is a potato, it kind of wants to clump up. So if we loosen it up with just a touch of water half a cup she says, and then 134 grams of this puree. So this package is one pound, 454 grams. So we could do this like three times over with this amount today. So yeah, we first mix that. And then from there, we mix wet ingredients and then add in the dry, just like any other waffle batter. I actually thought that we would be like whipping up the eggs just to give it more structure, but I'm super happy that we don't have to. So easy. Let's switch it up. Get into it. There we go. Okay, this is going to be pretty juicy, I think, when I cut into it. I'm trying to smooth a line. to maybe not get it everywhere. I 
and then I'm just gonna look on the back. So this says there's purple yam and water. What do we feel? There's already water in here. Do you think all of the ube purees already have it? Right. So cool! Hi, my name is Kate, and I like everything purple. Okay. <laughs> so I'll probably just like re-smooth that down in the bag and vacuum seal in that still. So now we'll grab maybe just under half a cup of water. Remember, add it slowly so that if there's too much, you don't make it too watery and have to start start over. Yeah, sounds good, Cookie. Nice, you're going to the in-laws to make the lasagna. For sure, if you try it, I know you'll let us know. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday, Cookie. Take care out there. Chef Ambi Pants, welcome in. Okay, just gonna get a little bit of water. I didn't even look to see how many waffles this made, but I'm assuming like four to six? Four to six? Eight. Let's go. Get my little whisk. Yeah, I can see why we added just a touch of water. You can see kind of how chunky that is. This honestly looks fake. How purple it is. So do something like that at first. Maybe one more. That was about a quarter cup. I feel like if we do any more than that, that'll be too much. And this is looking nice now. Perfectly loosened up. Now we'll just let it sit there while we get everything else together. Maybe I'll put it up top so you can have a peek at it. Mouse house, please, please, please provide POI with this purple pageantry. What is POI? <laughs> okay, next up. So in a large mixing bowl, beat the eggs, and then we whisk in the coconut cream. And then from there, we do the ube puree and cooking oil. And then after that, we sift in all of the flowers and then mix it up. And then we let it rest. So easy. Oh, point of interest? Yeah, that's, I was like, that can't be right. POI is a purple paste made up of ground up taro. It's Hawaiian. Oh, yeah. I have never, do you call it poi? Yeah. Poi purple paste made of ground up taro. I've never heard of that. This is kind of my first experience with purple things. Let's get a couple bowls. Poi, but without the sun. <laughs> okay, so two eggs two large eggs, and then 13 ounces of coconut cream. Which, 
I know it says 13 ounces is one can, but what is that in mils? Siri. Hey Siri. Uh -huh. What is 13 ounces in milliliters? Boom, one can. Thank you. It's usually eaten at luau's. It's okay, spelling. I mean, it does matter, but as long as I can understand. Yeah, luau's. Okay, no eggshells. Not allowed. Get another whisk. We're learning today. Yeah, we have yet to go to Hawaii one of these days. <laughs> one of these days. I always make sure that the eggs are mixed like really evenly before we add anything else into them. Mix the white and yolk really, really well. Sweet. Okay, this is like my first experience opening a can of coconut cream. Holy. All of this? Whoa. It's so smooth. That's insane. This is a first. Oh, this a little bit of liquid. There we go. So you can see just how much more rich this is than a can of coconut milk. Much more saturated fat in there. And yeah, I have another can of this to whip up for the topping, if that even works. We're learning today, we're playing. Playing with our food. Why are you all excited about this? You're a coconut dog? I don't know about that one. I don't think you're a coconut dog. Okay. <laughs> this is the craziest waffle batter I've ever concocted. Kind of let that warm up a bit. And then this should emulsify in, right? Yeah. Transforming. She is thick. Smells so nummy too. Hi, Bee Tree. So good to see you. I was going to say, there's our Hawaiian right there. Did we hear Luau? We are here. Time for cow cow? <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't wait to go to Hawaii and hopefully meet up with you, Bee Tree. Man, hope you have been good. <laughs> okay, so the puree is next, right? That's what I said. Yeah, and then a tablespoon of neutral cooking oil. So we'll just use some grapeseed oil. Amazing. Okay, here we go. We're just going to be a bunch of... Is this like a bad thing to say? I heard this when I was young. Purple people eaters? What is that from? Sammy, have you heard that before? Never? 
Oh no. I don't know then. Cow cow equals eats? It's a song, Torino? Okay. Thank you. We have been purpled. You be in Kitsap by Seattle, really? Like on a vacation? Me trying to pour one tablespoon out of this bottle. Don't shake. <laughs> okay, so that'll probably just help for the batter to not stick to the waffle iron. Mix that in. Your mom went to Hawaii when she was a kid. Remember Dito saying it was too expensive, but the food was awesome. And it's one thing like... People sometimes compare Mexico and Hawaii together, but you can't. Because Hawaii doesn't have the all-inclusive resort. So yeah, it, it can be a bit expensive if you don't cook while you're there and just eat out all the time. Nice, you're passing through visiting family. Yeah, Ohana equals family. I know that by watching Moana. <laughs> One of my favorite movies. Okay, now... We're going to start with our flour. So tapioca starch, rice flour, and all-purpose flour. And then we also do baking powder, white sugar, and salt. So this is all weighed out. So get this going. Maybe I will do... How do I want to do this? We'll just weigh it all out in a bowl. And then pour that into the sifter. I want to watch Moana. So, 290 grams of tapioca starch. This was the package that I thought was rice flour. So we'll use this one at first. Frank, grapeseed oil, high in vitamin E and phenolic antioxidants. Also, a rich source of omega-3 polyunsaturated fats. Scientists have theorized that eating too much omega-6 may be harmful. I mean, as we always say here, having too much of anything can be bad. So yeah, we always try and consume things in moderation. But thank you for the info. So you're saying don't chug grapeseed oil then. We got this. Okay, what did I say? 290. So the tapioca flour starch gives the waffle the chew. The rice flour gives it that crispy exterior and then the all-purpose flour just kind of keeps it soft. Soft and fluffy. That's a lot. 290 grams? What is this package? It's like over half of the package. I'm in shock. Okay, I went a bit over, so I just have to spoon it out. It's like tilapia, yeah, high in some omega fatty acid, but then once again, too much can be harmful. Okay, next one, only 73 grams of this freshly milled rice flour from this morning. Shaping up to be waffles for an army, Lily. Please come over, help. Annie, how are you? Okay, so what did I say, 73 grams? This feels so nice. Very much like Ina Garten. 
And if you can't find freshly milled rice flour, store-bought is just fine. <laughs> Good morning, White Dove. How are you? Okay, now all-purpose flour, 70 grams. Oh, Ina. You were just milling around this morning, and I wound up with some flour. Dead. Did you have a good week or what, Annie? Just uh, judging by that pun? Yeah, did. Okay, let's keep going. So two teaspoons. I gotta go grab my baking powder, but I do have my sugar here. So, you know what? I'm just gonna maybe measure the sugar right into there. And then we need a pinch of salt. Grapeseed oil, incredibly high in poly unsaturated fats. One of the worst oils you could possibly use for frying. So that's why they use like canola and some other ones. Super busy, Annie. Had to shop around on Friday night. Didn't get back to the house until 10.15. Good job. You are keeping the kiddos safe. BP, baking powder. Oh. Let's grab this vanilla while I'm here for the pineapples. I'm just gonna teaspoon this. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Not made for fingers from Hawaii. Adorable, Bee Tree. The phone keyboard? Yeah, I could see how that would be frustrating. Maybe a bit stressful. That is crazy, Frank. It's like every restaurant I have ever worked in, we use grapeseed oil for cooking. But you're saying it's the worst one? Okay, switch this up real quick. Make sure we zero it. 200 grams of sugar. Oh, yeah, koji nut squash. So flavorful. Awesome, Annie. And hi, Rook. How are you? That's a lot of sugar in this. 200 grams. I need to recheck that because my brain's like, no, but it's true. So 200 grams or one cup. That's it. Take the scale away. Clean it up. And then we'll get the sifter. What are you all knowing? Oh no! Demon bear! I actually still have all of my wisdom teeth. It's gonna suck, but you'll be really loopy for the first like, day. <laughs> and then just keep it clean. I've had mine taken out. It's fun. Yeah, Sammy got his wisdom teeth out. Apparently my mouth was big enough to accommodate all of it and they never bugged me. So yeah, I still have all of mine, which is kind of a rare thing, right? You were only born with three. Well, lucky you then. And Josie, how are you doing? Trying an edible for the first time, Rook. We'll keep you company. Uh, this is what I want. My sister. Meow, 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 you. Meow, 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 For the cause. Thank you so much, Annie.
Thank you, thank you. $50 towards our double door fridge goal right now. Setting us over halfway now. Yes. And Sammy is selling his construction Lego so we can pay for the rest of it. Interesting, Lily. Yeah, we're both left-handed with all of our wisdom teeth. That's a high five for sure through the internet. <laughs> okay, so this is my sifter. Thanks, Grandma. I'm just going to pour this in and then we do all the way through. Sound effects always make things better. Oh, God. <laughs> I might have ingested some of the tapioca starch just now. I literally didn't get any outside of the bowl when that drop happened. That's pro. Hi, Greek. How are you? Hi, Scooter. Welcome in. We're making dust. I'm trying to do this controlled. Rook made the best pizza yesterday. The Lloyd pans are good. I was skeptic at first with them being so lightweight. They are money, Rook. I really want to get some of the round ones. Nice. Annie's just doing a little bit of grading. Crushed it. Oh, all of these flowers kind of feel like cornstarch. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like that feeling on my hands. Talc. Talky. Okay. Let's see. I mean, it looked like this was pretty watery still. Just going by the photos they linked for the recipe. So I'm gonna whisk it. Definitely gonna be more of a lighter purple, I think. Unless the color might go deeper when we cook it. That might happen. I have a feeling you're going to be eating lots of mashed potatoes and soup because you're very picky. You don't like jello or pudding or any of the other stuff. What? Why? Why don't you like that? You a texturally challenged person. So she does say to make sure we mix this nice and smooth, which is like quite different from some other waffle and pancake batters that we've made, right? Okay. All done. Clean it up. <sighs> I don't even know what to say about this. Like so many people new coming in, like I try and talk to them and then they get an ad and I don't want to repeat myself. I don't know how to solve this issue. I'm just going to cover this with some plastic wrap. Just so it doesn't dry out on the top. Run ads during a break. 
But we have it set right now, Torino, so that no one gets pre-rolls or like very, not very often. So I can't really help when they decide to play it. Or yeah, why don't you get an ad blocker? Good one, Annie. That. Okay, just co-mingling some other stuff before we carry on here. I'm gonna get rid of my flour and some of these other baking ingredients that we don't need. Yeah, it's so different from YouTube, right? Where they like, you know, you're not missing anything of the video when you watch the ad. So it goes back to where you left off. Obviously with like the live thing, Twitch probably can't do that. You guys work we can, but then what? I have to be reading or seeing that the whole time or it's just through Twitch. It's through Twitch. Okay, well maybe we'll try that one day and see how everyone likes it. they can yeah. so it's not you so if i put it as an availability yeah. okay chef peanut 808 thank you for the raid how are you doing what did you get up to today how was your stream all of those fun things we just finished mixing up our ube waffle batter and now it's going to rest for one hour while we work on the rest of the garnishes for it. And hi, Wilson, how are you? Yeah, welcome, welcome, friends. And let me just check this. I'm pretty sure we'll just rest it outside of the fridge. Yep. Cover the waffle batter with a towel or cover and let it rest on the counter for at least one hour. Or she says you can, if you want to make this the day ahead, pop it into the fridge. You just have to take it out about 20 minutes before you plan to cook it. Hi, Chef Peanut. Did you have a good stream? Wilson, you just finished making pizza dough. A lot of people made pizza this weekend. Rook made pizza. I know Vue made pizza earlier this week. And now Wilson's having pizza. Thanks for the follow, Chef Peanut. Okay, so next one that we're going to get going here is we're going to get into making our pineapple preserve from fresh pineapple. The wife's request, Wilson. Yeah, couldn't even say no. So small batch fresh pineapple jam. And the recipe is linked there for all of you. They say sweet and slightly tart and full of fresh pineapple. Small batch pineapple jam needs no special canning equipment or even pectin to yield a delicious fresh jam. Prep time, 10 minutes. Cook time, 30 minutes. Total time, 40 minutes. I'm going to just cut this in half. The recipe makes 48 servings, one tablespoon each. And just going by the amounts there, one cup of sugar, five cups of fresh pineapple. I don't want that much. I'd rather have just a small amount of the pineapple jam. So like even this is pretty big batch. And then we'll leave the rest of the pineapple fresh for munching or pop it in the freezer. There we go. You had a good stream? That is great to hear. Did a ham dinner. Nice one. And it all turned out delish. Are you from Hawaii? We're going to do this. And then I think I'll just do a small pot. Yeah, we'll just pop it in a small pot and away we go. So first things first, we're getting into a fresh pineapple. Chip and top it. I tried to pick one yesterday that looked like really nice and ripe. 
so it wouldn't be too tart. So we'll see. It smells good. You live on Maui. Boom. That's so cool. That sounds amazing. That's a spot that I really want to go. Yeah, we're all coming over. Okay, so now we're just going to take our knife and peel along the outside. So that's how it looks. I'm going to go a bit. A bit more inside if you want, just to get through those like seeds. This looks pretty pale for a pineapple, but looks can be deceiving. I'm not gonna say anything more until we try it. You have a few Coast Guard bases that are so awesome, Wilson. It's much better than Oahu and you lived there for 20 years. And then I was gonna say, my husband and myself, we were planning to go to Kauai for our honeymoon, but never got to do that because of the pandemic. Once you go all the way around, then you can just work on kind of cleaning, cleaning it all up. I usually like to flip it over as well. This pineapple almost looks like it's been frozen. I mean, welcome to Canada. It might have. Who knows? It smells and feels right though. So yeah, maybe you guys are right. Just got frozen. That's why it's so pale. Never even thought of that. Right? It should be way more yellow. Yeah, we're, we're getting there, Wilson. We're getting there. One day we'll go back. Or we'll go. There is no back. So you've never been. Bonk, you having a good morning or what? You and the GF are doing all right. I just like to clear off this part first before we really start cutting the pineapple up. Definitely out of season. <laughs> yeah, you know what? A better option would have been frozen pineapple chunks. Totally. Winter, when frozen fruit is actually better. I'm just gonna rinse my hands. Because frozen fruit is actually picked at its prime. That's why when we were talking about how to make a really good smoothie yesterday, Cookie suggested using frozen fruits and berries. It's a bit more concentrated flavor. So that's the thing is when you buy fresh stuff, you actually don't really know what you're going to get. It's not like you can just cut into it in the store and be like, yep, this is the one. Okay, so I think I'll use like half of this today. First things first, we're just going to cut in half all the way down. Grab a container. And then usually if I'm only using half, just package this up. Don't completely cut it down. So I always find things go bad faster if you cut them up smaller. And then go in half there, pop it back up onto the flat side. And then we're going to cut the core out like that. You're all good, Bonk. Got friends over, gearing up to do a double sides order of eggs, Benny. Yes. Yeah, 
Yeah, today seems like a brunch sort of day. <laughs> yeah, do you ship? And if so, how much? <laughs> really, Greek? The other day you saw someone had like seven cartons of eggs in their basket, just stare at them. Yeah, what are you doing? Nice, Beatrice. I was hoping that you would see that and be like, hello, internet friend. Would you like to be <laughs> real life friends? <laughs> so now we got it all taken apart. How I like to do this is kind of do thin strips to start and then we can cut through from there. And then the other thing I'm going to do is actually taste this because then we can actually determine how much sugar we need. I'll be okay if it is a bit tart though. It's tasty. It's got the tart and sweetness, but it's, it's lacking like that pineapple punch. Like for an example, when I was on the island still working in the restaurant, one of our foragers also grew pineapples in his living room. So he brought pineapple to the restaurant. Pineapple was so amazing. It tastes like coconut. It was mind blowing and confusing. But yeah, I expected this to taste worse. So by the time we cook this, I think it's going to be perfect. <laughs> Pineapple punch. <laughs> Bonk. Would it be the enzyme it contains? Maybe. That might be it, Bonk. So now I just cut back through this way. And now we have nice small pieces to cook down. I don't want the preserve too chunky. I want it to be like easily eaten with the waffle and the other stuff. So we'll do this pineapple preserve and then just some fresh mango. The atulful mangoes looked so good in the store. Yeah, punch meaning it eats you as you eat it. <laughs> That's good. Honey, honey equals Hawaiian kind hugs. I'm in. Careful as we get near the end because it's slippy. That is a true pineapple fact. It eats you as you eat it. Okay, I'm just going to grab a kind of medium sized pot. It's just clean in the dishwasher. Whoa, like that is juicy. And sticky. The yellow color should go a bit deeper as we cook it as well. 
Okay, let me just rinse these two things and my hands. You guys ever get like sticky hands where you feel like you can't work properly? I just feel too dirty. I hate that. And because we cut the pineapple smaller for the preserve or jam, we shouldn't really have to blend it up or blitz it up after it's been cooked. Kind of set ourselves up for the future. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Hi, especially. How are you doing? Pineapples are the only source of bromelain. That's pretty magical. Stream is going good. I made the ube waffle batter and I will say it's like getting more purple as it rests. So it's looking really happy. And now we're just working on our pineapple preserve. It's worth the pain, so good. This is gonna be yummy. So yeah, that was about what, three cups? A fresh pineapple. So I'll do half a cup of sugar and they say a little bit of lemon juice, but there's a note. Okay, so they just do lemon to balance out the sweetness. So since this is already a bit tart, I'm gonna leave the lemon out until the end. Buble? Buble preserve? Michael? Is that you? You're waiting to go to an open house, killing time with oatmeal and Animal Crossing. Nice one. You're looking to move then? Okay, I think I have half a cup of sugar right here. Or about that. And then we'll just turn this on. I don't want it to be too sweet. Fill that up. Get my little burner set. Hi, Astra. Can you please sit on your chair? That's a good spot for dogs. Thank you. Thank you, Pepper. Thank you. Good girl. Boom. We're really zoomed in. Oofta. First time homeowner time. Awesome. Looking to buy a place in New West with the BF. I wish you luck. As someone who has lived or who did live on the West Coast for quite a few years. It's tough out there. Got most of the apartment packed up. That's right. Greek. Greek has a new house. Okay. I think it'll be good if we just pop the lid on to get this started. Do this. Turn it up like medium high heat. Bam. Okay, pineapple's good. What else? Put that on to the side. Pack up the rest of the rice flour. Tap out the sifter. Once again, sifters should never see water. That's how you make glue and wreck the uh, entire sifter. That. So yeah, we still have like a cup of freshly milled rice flour that we did earlier. Now I'm set up for the future. Moving close to where you work. Oh, that is so good, Greek. So good. I think it's this that's actually crooked. Yes. Insane Torino. What a turnout. 
What an investment. We always label our stuff. Rice flour. Hi, Titan. How are you? Okay. We are crushing it. Do we want to do the coconut cream or maybe we should wait? It's kind of the last thing and then we can do some Vietnamese coffees. Nom. I'm doing good. Mr. Fabrizio, how are you doing? Just switch this up for now. Yeah, I think we might put this can of coconut cream into a small container. And then I was thinking of just using this immersion blender to blitz it up and maybe lighten it up. Sipping on some Pappy Van Winkle Family Preserve or Reserve Rye while you eat your grilled cheese. Rye and grilled cheeses. <laughs> and I will say I've never tried to whip a coconut cream, so I don't even know if this is going to work. I have high hopes, though. Really, we're just trying to incorporate air into it. A subversion. <laughs> yeah, there is a little bit of like coconut water in the can, just in the bottom. Just got to scoop down to it. And then I thought it would be smart to not cut up the mango until right before we want to serve. So we can say there's no dairy in this. There's a couple eggs in the batter just for structure. But yeah, this is dairy free. Scrape all the goodness out. I'm excited to see if this works. Mmm, yes. I have had that before. A coconut cream ice cream. I love coconut so much. Okay, what am I gonna do? I only have one plug there and we're working on our jam. I might be able to plug it up here. Not too strong. Good thing this has a really long cord, like super duper long. Holy. And then let's put this on to the top first. We don't want to plug this in and then try and twist it on just in case anything decides to happen. Yeah, I have my power bar up on my kitchen shelf here. I think I'll be able to plug it in. <laughs> 
the stream cuts out. Sorry. I'm also going to turn it all the way down to low. Pineapple, coconut, and I thought mango would be so awesome today. And Sammy's not a huge mint guy. Otherwise, I thought mint would like maybe be okay with it. So kind of moosh this a bit before we get blending. Today, my brother is working in the shop. He's replacing the diff in his little Chevy truck. So Sam's over there right now, kind of checking it out with him. Pineapple, mango. You're not a big coconut fan? That's okay, Suki. More for us. <laughs> Hold the container. So it's about half full right now, the liter container that I'm mixing this in. Ugh. Let's see if it does get aerated. We are whipping it up a can of coconut cream. See if it'll get thicker. Use it as a creamy condiment over the waffle. Add garlic? Huh? Kit. Are you okay? Guys. It split. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. The revolutions. It split it. It separates? I didn't know this was a thing. Learning. Coconut butter. Hey, spray rate. We don't say eel in here. That makes people feel sad. Is we learn from mistakes. Keep going to Reno. That's what I feel is maybe it just got cold. That's what I'm thinking. Cause it was together. You're saying a coconut butter, butter is bad, Greek? Coconut oil is awesome. Let's see. I mean, what if we strained out the liquid and just tried to whip up the fat more? Nope. Oh, Annie, when did this arrive? Sorry, I missed it. I have added 10 emotes on what, Friday? I added 10 emotes to the channel. Maybe the mag magic's just begun. I don't think so. <laughs> How to make our own coconut butter. Okay, so after this, we're gonna Google to see if we can save it or what to do. What's the next step? Cause yeah, totally. I had no idea this even would separate. Hee <laughs> hee. So you can also tell how it's not even sticking onto the metal attachment anymore. It's like buttermilk. Totally. Curds and whey. This is what we make here. Like totally. Coconut curds. Just going to put that down. Maybe I won't unplug that just yet. We need to do some investigating. And also, I'm gonna stir this real quick. Maybe strain it, that's what I was thinking. Next step, strain and try and just whip the fat. Maybe this is exactly what we should be doing. That's cooking good. I'll leave the lid on just so it can soften up this first bit. Pickled mango, especially good when eating luau kalua or huli huli pig. Use green, but not too green of mangoes. Mmm, yum. I would totally try that. 
drink a bit of the liquid K. And then I'm going to do some stuff for myself. It's okay, Astra. Being coconut whipped cream. Okay, I found an all recipes one. Ah, one can of unsweetened. I do have coconut milk. So if we've gone too far, we can start over. They add white sugar and vanilla. Refrigerate can of coconut milk. Oh, we can't start over. <laughs> Eight hours or overnight. Freeze the bowl. Open the can of milk. Taking care not to shake it. Hey. So we're going to strain this. That's all they do. So scoop the coconut cream solids into the mixing bowl. Reserve our coconut buttermilk for another use, they say. Beat coconut cream using electric mixer, mixer with chilled beaters on medium speed. Turn it to high until stiff peaks form. And then add your sugar and vanilla if you want at the end. <laughs> we meant for this to happen. I was just testing you guys, chat. <laughs> add a bit of corn flour and boil it. Okay, I got my fine mesh strainer just in the dishwasher. I'll go grab that and we'll set it over top. And then we'll just keep whipping the coconut fat inside of there. We're good. Happy little mistakes. Torino, your brain hurts today. <laughs> Thanks, Bonk. Blarg. I love that command. Okay, so... Gently. Yeah. Did you guys hear the dog just now? She is mooing. She's in a mood, if you will. Wow, that doesn't look appetizing at all. <laughs> look at how much like liquid we got out of that. What are you laughing at? What I'm doing? Huh? Are you laughing at what I'm doing? No. Okay. So as you can see, as I like press this, more of the liquid keeps coming out. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff that came out of there. The mush does look delicious. And then this, probably so yummy too. Just an unsweetened coconut juice. That would be good in like cocktails, smoothies, using to make coconut rice. And madame, holy smokes, almost a year with the kitchen crew. How have you been? How was the week at school? And thank you so much for spending all of your time with us. 11 months together already. And we've all, we've also met in person. Special. Okay, there's a little bit of juices still down there. I'm just gonna pour. I just kind of smushed it all together. I don't know if there's enough really for us to whip up. There might be.
just keeps coming out more and more. And the pineapple is smelling so good in front of my face here. Okay, I think that looks good. So smooth. Let's see what happens now. And then this, this lid's about to blow. So all I'm gonna do is kind of just give this a shake, pop the top a touch, and we'll turn this down to like three now from five. <laughs> How are you doing, Vune? Welcome, welcome. Beatrice is saying, use the milk juice for babinka? Babinka. What's that? This week was actually very stressful, madame. Had a pretty rough run. Report cards are done now, though. Parent-teacher this week. And then you can focus on, yeah, December fun. Exactly. Well, welcome, madame. Hopefully we can turn it around. Take it away, Sammy. <laughs> How was the Vietnamese coffee yesterday? We're still making it today, Vune. I just bought it yesterday, but we're almost ready to make it together. I was trying to wait until you came in. So we're just working on making a coconut cream. We're learning that we gotta get like some of the liquid out still. There's not very much in the container now. You can see that my blades are like barely submerged. It's working. Oh, and like this stuff is so rich that you really only need a dollop of it because it's going to melt out the rest of the way. So yeah, if you put too much coconut cream on top, then it'll kind of just overtake your palate. Am I winning? Yes. This is actually really fun. More power. I think it is growing in size though. Because what this is doing right now is we're just incorporating air. And when you incorporate air into fat, it doesn't coat your palate as much. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Look, now we almost have enough that it's covered the top. Oh, yeah. And yeah, Mish, your fridge. Or sorry, your oven. Our fridge, your oven. And let's welcome in oh, five new yeah. subs to the chat. Also, hello, Trev. Welcome to the kitchen crew. XY Lyria, just me, Heather. Rosalie, oh, Shaggy64, yeah. and Laura Lanthalassa. Thank you, Annie, for the five gifted subs and oh, a total yeah. of 380 over the last almost four years. What? Yeah, we have unlocked the secret of coconut just to show you the consistency now. That has changed from what it looked like before, right? Let's keep going.
the sound. Okay, I'm calling it quits. See if I can get my lean on here. Stay the heck there. <laughs> I'm also like, if I was like this Torino, it's because I'm scared that something's gonna maybe splash in my face. Okay, stay there while I unplug this. Oh, we got it. Hi, Laura. Ube waffles sound so good. Come here to see what this is all about. So I unplugged before I do anything else. And now we can take this off. And we'll scrape it all. This looks so good though. Just like look at the consistency on this. Very creamy and lightened. Yummo. No problem. So bee tree. Babinka is a Filipino kind of dish like flan cake. With macadamia nut crumbles, fresh coconut flakes. Hello. Yes, please. And Katniss, how have you been? Use a beater, Greek? I could, but there's nowhere near enough of that mixture to even put into a stand mixer. So we also have to think about that, right? We'll just get a little spatula. Good one, Wilson. What are you topping the pizzas with? I might have missed if you said earlier. First pizza's in the oven. And then after this, we'll check on our, our timer for the ube waffle batter. We had to let it rest for an hour after we made it. And I think that also has a bit to do with the different flours. So typically flours that are not wheat based, they take a bit longer to really absorb all of the liquids. So that could do it too. I'm so happy that this worked out. I got really worried there for a sec. <laughs> We never give up and we never surrender though. And yeah, as that waffle batter is resting, it's getting more and more purple too, which I'm excited. Okay, I might be able to tap the rest of this off. Or at least out of the center there. This stuff is pretty expensive, so we want to be able to scrape as much as we can out of there. Awesome. And yeah, our pineapples are cooking right along here. Okay, yum. So now just mixing this up. Wow. beautiful like when it has that little peak on it okay so now we put that aside i would really suggest don't put this in the fridge after you're done whipping the coconut fat because it's just gonna go rock hard on us so we need to leave this in a warm not too cool spot gonna deal with my little bit of coconut mess here and then I think it's Vietnamese coffee time. Did you use yeast in the waffle batter? No. No yeastage in there. And yeah, Trev, an hour, I know, right? It's like, please. Super concentrated coconut cream. Oh, yeah. The cream? Well, there's enough. That's enough for four portions, I would say. Because a dollop of that is lots. And Suki, 
Thank you for gifting this sub to Aspie. Three months in a row with us now. Yeah, hype indeed. Welcome to the crew. Welcome back. Hope you've been good, Aspie. And thank you, Suki, for the 14 gifted subs to the channel. Okay. Oh, this, yeah. This and this can go. Bee tree. Thank you. We're just paying it forward here today. Thank you, Bee tree. Gifting the sub to. Laura Avname. Welcome, Laura. So good to have you. <laughs> no, it's good, Suki. You're good. Thank you for everything. And Tron Kata, how have you been? And we're getting a lot of people in here today that we haven't seen in a bit. Loving it. Good to catch up. It's a Sunday fun day of sorts. So as always, before we start the next task, we always clean up from the previous one. That, 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 and that. Oh, Maybe I'm gonna try yeah. a pineapple. <laughs> you guys, so good. Anonymous gifter is gifting a sub to Tron Kata. Welcome to the crew, Tron Kata. Two months in a row. Oh, that's baby. That's baby subs. And thank you. That's a true for a level one for all of you. Thank you for the true train. What? Oh, thank you. Yeah, whistle while you work. Clean as you cook, it really does help. Because then you're not stuck after you're done cooking and be like, oh my gosh, I still have to clean all this mess. Clean as you go. Yay! Definitely looks like it's softening up because the pineapple is going deeper yellow color. Mmm. Nice flavor. Yeah, I'm going to leave the lid off now. So that liquid can start to reduce and concentrate. And then near the end, I'm going to add a pinch of vanilla. So we'll get rid of this lid. And thank you, cameras, for the 500 bitties. Yeah, level two. That's a... Gotta sit down and eat and eventually clean this kitchen. I feel ya. Thanks for the lurk, Laura. Glad to see you today. Okay, we did this. Okay. Vietnamese coffee. Woohoo! Then we can sip our coffee while we cook our waffles. Dun 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 dun! What was I showing there? Oh, this is a vanilla powder. So when we were having a really hard time, kind of at the start of the pandemic, I needed some more vanilla paste, but we couldn't find it. So Sammy ordered this for me, vanilla bean powder. So it's whole vanilla bean that is just dried and then blitzed up. Really, really good flavor. So yeah, that's another option for vanilla. It's so handy too, right? Because it's dried, you have such a nice small package. So this is gonna be good for the truck. You don't have a big bottle to store somewhere. So half a teaspoon of this powder equals one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mmm, scooter. Yum. You use it in your chai tea. What a great idea. Yep, 
yeah, so glad to be of inspiration for all of you. I am just going into my glassware bin here and trying to find a cup that we can pour our coffee oh, over. Of course I would break the handle. You know, glassware boxes, not uh, the latest. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Top of the glassware box. Cast iron grill pan. That would do it. I chose the right one off the bat. Oh, yeah. It's super potent then. And it's pretty crazy, the smell of it. I always say it smells like a Fig Newton bar. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. It's like very fruity. And smell and flavor. It's really nice. Pika Stella, how are you doing? And thank you for gifting two subs to the channel. Oh, yeah. Holy smokes, guys. We have just crushed our daily sub goal as well. Okay, Tika Sella, oh, thank you yeah. for gifting the subs to C Films and Clemmy, our favorite surgeon. Welcome, welcome. Oh, and then yeah. B Tree Three of Nine. We don't see them often, so thank you for all of the love today. We got a sub to Splinter Cat, who we've actually met oh, before. She's on the yeah. island. Nanako 180, Nexio TLG, Liz. And Big Ed Barnum. Oh, yeah. The price for the vanilla powder, I don't recall. Sammy, can you remember, maybe? He doesn't remember. Just look it up. The brand is Native. Native Vanilla. Apple Newtons? I don't know if I've ever had that. Yeah, Liz. The New York Water Stealer. <laughs> Okay, level four. Thank you, Sammy. Scooter says, it's like 15 bucks. You got it from Amazon or Etsy. You've been lurking today? Awesome. Okay. Let me undo these cups here. And then I think I mean before we do this coffee, one more bathroom break. <laughs> Prepare myself. Just found it, Wilson, for $12.99 for probably the same size package. Just trying to find one more cup. I need to do three. I think we can do it over this. Yeah, I'm so happy I opened that one. A purple cup to go with our purple waffle. That's it, chat. Very purple. What? White chocolate pumpkin cheesecake? I thought that was a streamer that made that. Wait, who said that they made that? I forget, Eric. Yay! You're using the cookies for the crust. Sounds so good. And thank you, Beatree, for 500 bitlies as well. Purple day all around. Yeah, this is looking good. Let me give it one more stir. I'll go for a quick bathroom break. And then maybe while I go to the bathroom, I'll take the kettle too, so I can fill it up. And come back and get that water going. Okay, friendos, hold tight. I will be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, friendos, for our amazing level four hype train. We also got some new level three emotes today. So that's a... Oh. Stop the train. We made it. Thank you, Sammy, for the train horn sounds. Here's this. And thanks for the lurk, Aspie. <laughs> Can't wait until Kate grows peas in her garden so that she can take a pee break. It's funny you mentioned that, Annie. Uh, the other day, Rando and I were doing truck stuff together. We brought the truck to its storage home for the winter. And while we were like waiting for it to warm up in the cab, I was like, the dash of the truck is massive. He's like, yeah, perfect for an herb garden. <laughs> was like, don't give me any ideas, I really right? Cool and I was like, just go with my little scissors and clip my little herbs from the front dash. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> okay, so just turning the kettle on and then we learned a little bit earlier about Vietnamese coffee. Highest caffeine out of all other coffees. Who types like this? Like, you should see how I'm typing. This is how I'm typing. Holding the keyboard. I think you can only do that if you have, like, big hands. <laughs> Send help, please. Cooking herbs or puff puff herb? Hey, maybe a bit of both. <laughs> hey. What did I find here? Some info. A history, if you will. Okay, that page has taken way too long. Thank you, Mish, for sending help. Yeah, work those gamer thumbs. Oh my gosh, I just agreed to more cookies. Imagine if you agreed to all the cookies and then at the end of the year, you just get a massive box of all the cookies you've agreed to. Yes, I will accept these cookies. Okay, so history of coffee in Vietnam. The first introduction of coffee was documented in 1857 when a French Catholic priest brought an Arabica tree to northern Vietnam with hopes of establishing a small-scale venture. Though successful in his endeavors, it wasn't until the early 1900s that the Robusta bean made its way to the country's central highlands, where the region's climate and soil provide optimal coffee growing conditions. Over the coming decades, the industry would boom as plantations sprung up all over Dak Lak province and its surrounding areas. But what really propelled Vietnam onto the world stage of coffee were the Doi Moi, I hope I'm saying this right, economic reforms of 1987, which greatly opened the country for trade. Shortly after, Vietnam would overtake Colombia to become the world's second largest exporter of coffee. Today, Vietnam accounts for 20% of the world's total production of coffee and 40% of the world's robusta beans. Ready for this? Exporting over 1.65 metric tons, or sorry, 1.65 million metric tons of coffee each year. An estimated 3 million citizens depend on agricultural coffee industry, not including the employees of the tens of thousands of coffee shops nationwide. So awesome. That's a lot of coffee. So in our recipe command there, the last link shows you how to brew your own. So first, get some water boiling, check. Get a glass, 
pour one or two tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk into it. Add one or two tablespoons of ground Vietnamese coffee beans to the press and then tighten the strainer on top. Pop our press onto our cup and slowly pour the boiling water into the top of the press. Allow it to drip down. It will take several minutes to complete. And then you can have it iced or not. Oh man, like the caffeine addiction is insane, Trev. I think it's a pretty, pretty big one worldwide. Just while we're doing this, I think I would like to take the pineapple off for now just so that we can really focus. And yeah, my watch timer kind of just finished up here for the ube waffle batter. So as soon as we got the coffees then, we can start that up. So this first step was to add the condensed milk. Big business, yeah. And so 200 milligrams of caffeine per serving of this type of coffee. This is our sweet and condensed milk. Oh, that can is full. I'm just gonna pour right out of this and then typically I pour it into a smaller container after. This is what I call special coffee too. It's like, oh, Vietnamese coffee, special coffee. Just because of the sweetness, I think. It's so yummy. Yeah. And yeah, for some reason, even when I try and make it at home, it's never as good as the Vietnamese spots. We're dripping. That condensed milk would probably be good in the pineapple preserve too. Coffee and waffles. Why do you feel like the coffee picture is racist? I don't know. I mean, it did win the packaging award. <laughs> Not that that's like, should be a big selling point. Okay, so next, kind of come in farther. So these are the percolators. So each of them has a lid as well as this strainer that you twist on. Pop that to the side. Boom, we'll open up our bag of coffee. We're getting lit. Hello, Captain Timo. Did I have a mentor that taught me about streaming and cooking? Uh, so I went to culinary school originally and then worked in restaurants for over 10 years. And then when I needed a break and was entirely burnt out, my husband was actually the one that knew about Twitch and said, hey, why don't you try this? So I guess my mentor for streaming was my husband, Sam, but not that he streamed before I did. And yeah, I just honed my cooking skills over the years. Now we're here. So welcome in. Yeah, feel free to ask away any questions. Yeah, if the caffeine's not enough, there's sugar, Trev. I'm also just turning this pineapple preserve down a bit. I want the juices to get like sticky. And so we'll start with these two cups. And I would recommend popping the percolator over the cup while we're filling it, right? Or maybe not. What if we do this? Cause this little lid guy should fit under. I just don't want to pour the coffee grounds all over my cutting board. Let's do that. So what did they say? One to two tablespoons? Sammy's like, give me two. Does Sam make any guest appearances? All the time. <laughs> I 
Oh, Wilson, as a kid, I would steal a can of the sweetened condensed milk from my grandma, hide in the closet, and eat it with a spoon. Savage. <laughs> Torino. Too good. And yeah, Sam doesn't love to be on camera. But he's very good at cooking. He's also a chef. This is what our grounds look like. And I really made sure that when I was picking this Vietnamese coffee, there are some that are instant, not the same. Yeah. Mm. So whenever we have this, usually we say that the coffee tastes like Nutella, kind of. Like chocolatey and nutty. So good. See, I'm just kind of watching as I'm pouring the grounds because you can overfill and then you won't be able to tamp it down. So let's see how we did. i just pop this here to lean up against the pot. So I'm just going to grab it with this thing underneath still. Even it out. Nice. I think we added an even amount of each. One thing I have learned is you don't want to press this down too hard because then the water has a hard time going through, right? We don't have the same pressure that we would have with an espresso maker. So if you put it too tight, the water won't be able to actually go through. But then we don't want it too loose where the grounds will come up and out. And then whatever we have just residual underneath, just pop that back in the bag for the next batch. Because this is meant to hold the heat in while the water is percolating through. And I did spill just a touch. Okay, next one. Grab in the kettle and away we go. It might take a few moments. Oh. Do you think my phone is still hooked up? Well, yeah, I'm doing stuff. I was going to try and set up the cam guys wireless so you could see it dripping. Because it's really, really satisfying. But I need to work while this water is hot. Hey, look. It's my husband. Guest appearance. <laughs> Can you see this, though? It's like almost like a cyclone as it's pulling down and through. This one, I'm kind of concerned that it's a bit tight. Yeah, that's hot. Guys, it stopped flowing. Connecting, connecting. He looks like Kratos. Yeah, you got to lean it against the thing. Lean it back, should be good. I'll do it. I want outside. Oh, that works good too. Okay, that actually looks amazing. <laughs> Carry on. And this is coming out slowly. A bit more water in there. 
We'll cover it up. Maybe a vacuum stitch. I think I might have just uh, turned it on a bit too much. But I mean, slow percolation is also very nice, right? It's trying. I'm just going to take my cloth and try and twist this, the topper. Yeah, it's straight. Like, it is sealed on there. Nice thing about the top of this is there's a little, like, screw. I'm just using my, literally a butter knife right now to just untwist this a bit. Should start flowing a bit more. It's total vacuumed. Like the more I untwisted, the more it just sucks down. Pretty cool though. So now I'll top this one up. So I poured it like full once and then about half more. But you can really pour as much or as little water as you want. And it did take, or say it, it's going to take several minutes. So you can't make this when you're in a rush. Okay, sounds good, Bonk. Yeah, you're making an eggs, Benny. Everyone's up and moving. I hope it turns out amazing. What if I do this? Okay, now we're dripping again. Know some caffeine addicts that will smash the windows out waiting for the cup of joe. Time to break out the tools. It looks happy now. Yep, a nice, slow, kind of even drip. It's all we want. And now, once we have this done, I'll just do my other one off the side and we'll get this waffle maker going. Heating it up. Time for waffles. This looks good. I was just peeking on the pineapples back here. I'm going to add the vanilla now since it's almost done. You can have a Vietnamese coffee race. Which cup's going to go faster? That's what I'm adding for vanilla into the pineapple. Very small amount. Whoa, it's so fragrant being mixed into that right now. Mm. How much was the whole kitchen set up with cameras and stuff? So since I started streaming, we're almost at four years coming up in January. How many times have we changed our setup over? Three, four? $20, so uh, Sam is saying over the years, it's been about $20,000 of equipment that we have been accumulating. So not cheap, but uh, we've always felt like a high quality video and audio stream is really important for food related content. And exactly Wilson, yeah, we keep evolving as the technology grows. And we did look, a lot of our cameras we bought used, 
but you have to know what you're looking for otherwise you can end up with crap if you go back on our youtube you can see that we originally started the stream with logitech c920 webcams it's taken years to get here so yeah don't get discouraged or anything like that i'm just gonna loosen this one up a bit more it looks like it's come to yeah got a bit slowed down there we go just in time Bune. rando is so excited for this today too we're all just gonna be wired when finn gets home This, this one's winning. This one fell totally behind. That's a sheesh. Hmm. Just mixing up the, our whipped coconut cream, making sure that wasn't getting too hard. This will be a good view of it. Whoa. I'm shaky already. Perfect. How much milk did we put in? Uh, about a tablespoon? <laughs> Wilson, I'm building a large food truck to do pop-up fine dining. And when I say large, I mean it. Oh, I know Vune, trust. I've had enough of these from Vietnamese spots. I know exactly how it should taste. Yeah, large and in charge. Oh, two to three tablespoons? Hey, I can always up the ante. I was just uh, literally free pouring out of the can. <laughs> This stuff is love. So good in the summertime on a hot day. Is this one almost done? It's going so slow. Okay, I'm going to put these to the side, I think. And we'll start our waffle iron since the batter is well rested. It literally just keeps vacuuming back down. Every time I loosen it. It's like it turns itself. Hi, Blondie. How are you? Yeah, you better catch up, right, Cup? You're losing the race. <laughs> Come on, gravity. This is coffee. This is the one that I was able to find. Not as good, I would say, just going by how it smells. Woke up and it's 4 p.m. on a Sunday. First thing you do is join the stream. Heck yeah, my dude. That is awesome. Okay, I think we'll slowly start to put this stuff to the side and we'll start waffling. The pineapple is just about done anyways, so I wanted to wait until I felt like that was in a good spot. Just having a peek here. Yeah, this one's almost done. Beautiful. Okay, let's do this. Move my phone out, but I'll leave that connected just in case you want to use it again later. 
put that up there, top right. Here's our little mise en place spot. This is how our pineapple's looking. So we're just getting syrupy on the bottom now. Here's our waffle maker. Get her plugged in. And then away we go. And whenever I waffle, I always like to pop a plate underneath just in case it does go over. Save yourself the cleanup later. And then here's our batter, well rested. Just gonna grab a scoop. What should we do, a third cup measure? I'm gonna go grab the half cup scoop. That's what I usually drop for waffles. We are just measuring water with it earlier anyways. Boom. One effect of caffeine overdose is actually hallucinations. I have never gotten there. I don't have a high caffeine tolerance. So yeah, I don't think I would ever make it to that point. Yeah, this looks good to me. So just stir in the pineapple and there's like almost no juices left. Donezo. Pop the lid on that, and that can just rest on this side. Off. Unplug. Turkey? Turkey drinks the strongest form of coffee? Well, we were just learning today, weren't we, that the Vietnamese coffee has the most amount of caffeine? Unless someone else can prove otherwise. Okay, we're plugged in, and we are maxed out. We've got this baby cranked. And then usually when this is hot or like as it's heating up, just a quick spray of nonstick. Just for like preventative measures. And then, oh, that's what I didn't want to do. Don't let the stuff stick to it. Don't. Scrape this off. This is looking great. Not too thin, not too thick. And it's a big bowl of waffles. And while we're waiting on our waffles, I think to the side, I'm just going to cut up our mango fresh. That is it. That's the last thing we need. Nom. Many a waffle. We're vaffling. Oh, the water's almost done. Mm. Going to do this. Pop that over to this side so I can get rid of my burner set. We need some space to cut up this mango. You call the Waffle House the Waffle? I like it. Vafflin. Cultural crema countries with the strongest coffee culture. Say that one like six times fast. Cultural crema countries with the strongest coffee culture. Can't even say it fast. It's impossible. Nice, you got me on as well as the DJ for the background music. That is awesome. Should I open this more so you can see as I cut up the mango? It's Italy. Okay, we're heating up. Just gonna do a quick spray. Canola. Canola nonstick.
Blue Mountain Jamaica coffee. Some of the best you've ever tasted. And then for my little thing is the light will go green when it's ready. Just cut in around the seed of the mango. I like these mangoes because I feel like the pit is not as big. Like you get more mango out of it. And man, it looks good. Oh. And now I think we'll just cube it up. Or... Yeah, we'll do cubes. Actually, no. We'll do like little lengths and hopefully be able to scoop it out. Little slices. Okay, I think I heard the light go off. For the waffle maker. Yup. Yeah, if you stare at it long enough, holy, she's smoking. Might turn it down just for the sugar content in this. This is so cool. Yeah, we did it. The powers worked. It smells like hot oil in here. Okay, so I sliced the mango kind of thin. I'm going to try and scoop it out. First, kind of do your outline around. Yum. We did it. So juicy. Oh, I think one piece has some peel on it. That's how ripe it was. Should be able to just pick that off. Even just with the spoon. Nice one. Now I'll just kind of separate all that. Put a nice handful of that over the top. Okay, we can put way more batter in next time, I feel. Unless it hasn't risen yet. Mmm, peach and mango fuzzy navel smoothies. I like it. I can smell the coconut cream in the waffle batter. It smells very nutty. Oh no. I hecked that side up. It's okay. At the end of the day, as long as we got mango. So that's more than enough for our three plates today. Nothing is happening. It looks kind of funny. I guess I'll turn it back up to max. <laughs> it looks kind of sad. I'm just washing my mango hands. The first waffle, especially if you're using a new recipe, is always the worst. It's like the tester, right? I mean, at the end of the day, it will be edible. 
but maybe not perfect. And that's okay. That is a okay. All right. So, sad waffles better than none. Right. We're done dripping. Take that percolator off. The other one's done as well. I did good with the water amount. I'm impressed with myself. For a free pour? Yeah, like the first pancake, exactly. Let's get in there. It looks light, but yeah, we definitely not much waffle inside. Um, let's just stir this up. You'll see the magic happen. And then, yeah, you could always add more sweetened condensed milk. But you gotta go with whatever sweetness you're comfortable with. Yum, that sounds so good, Wilson. For like a little morning routine when you live by the beach. Make a fuzzy navel smoothie. Walk your husky down the beach. <laughs> yeah, first time, it's always crap. <laughs> yeah, for anyone who knows what Vietnamese coffee is, I'm sure you can taste it right now. I'm just watching. I'll let Samo try. And then he can let me know. It's nice and warm, not too hot. So it's definitely sippable. It smells correct. It smells correct. This is what we're looking at right now for the waffle, by the way. That's pretty close. <laughs> That's good. It's pretty close? Yeah. Okay, this is for my brother. This one. So I'll put that to the side. I think I'm gonna just take this out. Yes, sir. And restart. Cause that is the saddest thing ever. Also, it looks like very glutinous. Hello, waffle? Ah, yeah, we defo need more. And let's keep the heat high. High, high, high. Cause as this cooled down, you can see it didn't really rise as much, but it should, according to the recipe. Waffle, no. That's a waffle, won't. <laughs> so usually after the first waffle, we don't have to spray it again. I think that just is telling us that we need way more batter. Practicing. Just like the coconut cream. Okay, let's see if this is gonna sploot. Oh, I got a little crispage. Look at this. <laughs> Close it. Crank it. This is where I'm going. Oh, it does get crispy. Whoa. Mmm. What the heck? It tastes way better than it looks. Mmm. Can something in the batter affect the ability to rise? I would say maybe just not putting enough baking powder. Yeah, crispy waffles and then chewy in the middle. I was gonna say, get it, let it go, welcome in. What's the name of this game? Cook with Kate. Welcome. Hi, Green Fang, how are you? Okay, I'm gonna go quickly deliver this to my brother. He's been working hard on his truck in the shop. I will be back. And I'm gonna quickly mute just cause my audio doesn't go that far. Chat, watch the waffle, okay? This is on you.
Okay, I made it. Diggity, you stole the mangoes? This is looking good, just going by how much steam's coming out. I'm catching up. <laughs> Eat all the waffles and mango. <laughs> Y'all are savage. And that's why we're friends. Yeah, right? Eric is like, we kind of know when it's done because the steam is not going to keep coming out. So I don't even want to lift this up right now because I know it's working hard. Looks like a pile of laundry sitting over there, Sam. What? <laughs> Just a big pile of laundry back there. That's me. That's too good. Okay, so we got mango, <laughs> coconut <laughs> cream, what the heck, <laughs> and pineapple preserve. Yeah, thank you. And I will say the waffle did taste like pretty sweet, so I'm happy that we didn't put anything too sweet with it. Can you trust it to be steam or smoke though? Well, smoke, you will smell it. You will smell this like bitterness to it, right? Whereas steam is just like, mm. Did she get back in her chair? No, she's bugging Sam. She didn't like when he made that noise, I think. <laughs> she's sniffing the air. Yeah, she's excited. So yeah, it's starting to dissipate. So that's telling me that it's almost done. Oh, I don't even know if I'm going to make a Vietnamese coffee for myself. I still have to finish my rando coffee. I'm getting all of our plates out that we need. Poppers, are you good? Sounds good, Tronkata. Thanks so much for stopping by today. It was good to see you again. And take care out there. Hey, what are you smelling? Hopefully it didn't stick. It feels a bit stuckaged. Oh, we even need more batter. Just a peek though. Just a quick peek. A little bit more. Holy. Let me see the recipe. If she says how much to pop in the, the waffle maker. This is what she says. Half a cup of batter per waffle fills out hers. We're closer to like one cup worth. Wild. You like mango green thing? Yeah, it looks so good. We have another one too if we need it. Yeah, really, really juicy. Wow, you have to lay right behind me. Maybe she has a tiny waffle maker. Maybe. We'll dress this one for Samos, but it's definitely not the photo waffle. All right? Yeah, typically when I do half a cup of my waffle batter, it's overflowing. This one is different though. This one is a potato based waffle. That's why we had to use all the different flours to get the texture right. Let's do this. It is nice and crisp though on the outside. Ready? Don't want to go too dark because then it will start to taste burnt. We don't look at the other side. Okay, just looking. This is some sticky business. So I'm going to be spraying in between 
And all I'm gonna do actually, instead of leaving this like hot steaming, I'm just gonna pop it on the side of the dish for now. So mass batter then. More, more, more. And I mean, there's definitely no shortage. Are there blueberries? So it is a Filipino purple yam known as ube. So it's like a purple sweet potato. Which color is it? And then there's also coconut cream, eggs, baking powder, rice flour, tapioca starch, regular flour, sugar, salt. I think that's it. It's quite simple. So not as purple. Uh, the recipe said you could also use an ube extract, which I couldn't find at the store. At least I found the puree. So just going back to this bag, this is what it looks like. Frozen section of the Asian market by like the frozen fruits. Grated purple yam and it's got to say ube. Otherwise it won't have the same starch content. And then your waffles won't work. Yeah, we'll take five. So now I'm going to plate. Oh, yeah. Look at the crispness. I'm going to say I'm going to plate Sam's, but it literally just fell apart. No, I know. So that let's do. I think I'm going to pop the pineapple preserve just right there. <laughs> the dog has died behind me. I got to be careful when I turn around. Step on a wild animal. So yeah, here's our pineapples. Literally just pineapple, sugar, and a bit of vanilla. Yeah. Next one. Coconut cream. I'm gonna see if I can get a really nice spoonful of it to drop on. Oh, I got a really good idea. If you have one of those like metal ice cream scoops where the handle scoops it out. That's all I really planned on doing. Because that coconut cream should kind of start, if we look at it, I put it not super on the waffle because I know it would start to melt. If you look over by the pineapple, it's just starting to melt. Yeah, this is Sam's plate. Yum. I'm excited for him to try this. Probably like kind of eat with your hands and the fork. I would tear open the waffle. It's really satisfying the crunch or crispage. And it'll probably be better if it's warm to eat it. You were watching Triple D yesterday. Guy was in Hawaii with the fam, ended up checking out a Filipino Hawaiian fusion joint. Had to do something with his wife and boys were busy surfing and shopping. <laughs> Sweet. This is it quite fancy, Wilson? A little bit. I mean, there's only four components. So the steam's almost done here.
Whoa, he dipped it in the coconut cream. Sweet papaya chunks too? Yup. Yup. And you know what else I was eyeing up yesterday in the frozen fruit section at the market? Frozen passion fruit cubes. Crazy but good. Crazy but good, he says. Yeah, he's not saying much. He would let us know if it was trash right away, right? Be like, I can't eat this. Okay, peeking. Holy heck, still not enough. Me, oh my. What's the difference between cake flour and regular all-purpose flour? I believe cake flour has some other ingredients inside of it. And you cannot interchange it. There was this one time I ran out of all-purpose flour when I was trying to make pancakes. I was like, oh, I'll just put a little bit of cake flour in its pancakes. Nope. They went like completely flat in the pan. Like the batter had a structure to it. So I was like, oh, this will work. As soon as you put it on the heat, just gone. I was like, what? Worst pancakes Caitlin's ever made. The worst ever. So cake flour, <clears throat> lighter, softer consistency due to the use of a soft wheat grain combined with a special milling process that makes it extra fine. It has baking powder added. It's got something, right? I'm assuming that the seeds were in there as well, Bee Tree. Yeah, I should have picked that bag up because passion fruit is one of my loves as far as fruit goes. And I mean, here in Canada, we don't often get it. Tried to make your mom's favorite sour cream cake with regular flour once and it didn't turn out well. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thanks for stopping by and asking the question. Yeah, might as well throw some lychee chunks in there too. Okay, we gotta go more. You crushed that? Do you need more or you're good? Can you say that louder? That's really fucking good. Yeah, I will admit, like I didn't know kind of what to put with the ube waffles because you could go sweet or savory. I'm happy I went with the fruit and the coconut. Not too sweet. Nope. Not too much coconut. So you can put a little more cream, I think, with her. More coconut cream? Okay. Uber good waffles. Okay. Hurry up, waffle maker. Coffee? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Trev. So my Baba's old waffle maker, cast iron, and it's one of the rectangular ones. So you get four rectangle waffles. Epic. Seriously, epic. I think my parents still have it. I really don't remember. But yeah, that thing was terrifying. Like so hot to the touch. Completely stainless on the outside. Man. And it made like a different kind of waffle texture too. Yeah, really cool. This one's not getting as crisp. What's with that one? Hello? It's cranked. I'll be patient. I think Sam just made me too excited when he ate his. Now I'm being impatient. You've never made a waffle because the idea of cleaning a waffle iron seemed like a pain. It shouldn't be as long as you Keep using nonstick spray, nothing should stick. And then it's just a quick wipe out of the residual oil afterwards. 
if you don't do that and like let it sit for a bit, the oil could go rancid. So make sure you wipe it out. If it ain't terrifying, yeah, it ain't cooking. That is crazy, Bee Tree. Grew up on wild passion fruit, mangoes, guavas, and guava wood makes real strong slingshots. We'll, we'll try that the next time, Wilson. Yeah, really wait for it to heat on up after we take this one out. And so it's hot initially when we pour the batter in. Yep, I think that's the one. This is why we're here together. Oh, pink fresh guava. Yeah, rancid oil, really bad taste, like rotten. And yeah, not good for you either. Good one, Greek. That's how I'm imagining bee tree. Yeah, it just looks like Tarzan. He's from Hawaii. They're from Hawaii. Okay, so let's see if this crisps up. Remember, spray first and then we'll close it. Yeah, like instantly, as soon as it starts to cool off, it gets crispy. Your grocery store doesn't even have silk flour anymore. They used to. I don't even know what that is. Silk flour. Costco cooking spray. You know it, Green Fang. Honestly had that for like years. And I'm into it. It's non-GMO. Soft silk flower. Yeah, I don't know what that is. There is nothing in Canada that's marketed as that. Was it actually really crispy and chewy in the center? Yeah. Like yeah, perfect? Really Sweet. How you described it is how it tastes. So just going by how the brands look, should I wait for the next one? Yeah. Like that one's a bit dense. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we switch to the green light. Maybe you go even hotter. Hotter. It's cranked. Must be a brand then, Sherman. A specifically a cake flower. Cool. Interesting, Trev. Some modern waffle makers have detachable plates that can go in the dishwasher. I just feel like that's more things that can go wrong. Taking things apart and putting them back together. But yeah, if someone is scared of being able to clean a waffle iron, that's a good option. Okay. Let's go. So yeah, definitely want to hear a sizzle when we're pouring this in. I went with the one cup. There's gonna be no shortage. Oh gosh. Pray for me, chat. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yours has overflow edges, Scooter. Catch the overflow batter and then you have waffle sticks. Trev made a Dutch baby today. How did you dress it up? How did you dress the Dutch baby? I need some hydration in my station. Yeah, you ever see like an old school waffle? iron on a used marketplace you buy that don't even question it la has filipino ancestry i think you are right 
And hi, Katie. Hello, practical escapist. Welcome. How's your weekend going? And thank you. Yeah, we're trying to trying to work things out right now. We are learning about ube waffles and how to make them perfect. So we're learning that the waffle iron has to be like super duper hot. So in between the waffles, let it reheat up and then pour the batter in. And then we've also found that we need extra batter because as we can see, it doesn't really puff up as much. So this top side is a little bit under, but then the bottom's nice and crisp still. Super lazy though. I think we all kind of feel like that this weekend. Like I did not want to get out of bed today. Sam was like, hey, it's, it's 8 a.m. I think you gotta get out of bed. I was like, fine. Trev, lemon lime, lime drizzle, powdered sugar, and honey crisp apple compo. Yummo. I was also thinking this is really dirty. Take some of the apple crisp from yesterday, heat that up. A little dollop of that on the waffle. <laughs> Yeah, Vune, speaking of waking up in the morning, I need to get up at 5 a.m. So you're going to head to bed. Good night, Vune. Take care. I hope you have a good rest of the week. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow on stream. And I'll definitely enjoy the waffles. <laughs> nice, Katie. You even passed out on the sofa after getting up. That's what Sundays are all about. Good night, Bune. Sherman, when we were kids at my grandma's, my brother messed up making a waffle and had to scrape it all out. Like when you have that happen, you almost have to just throw it out. It's almost impossible to scrape it off. Like it just adheres so well. So yeah, you didn't want that to happen. I feel ya. I feel ya. Trust me, if you've, well, most people I'm sure have never worked at a restaurant during brunch and had waffles on the menu. But when you mess that waffle iron up in the middle of brunch, yeah, good luck. Good luck. I'm getting like PTSD right now. Why did I say that? Katie has a designated nap blanket. Yeah, you do. Oh yeah, you got a short week at work? U.S. Turkey Day? That's right, Scoops. Yeah, great thing about food. Every person has a memory or story that stands out about it. Flavor Memory Bank. Man, I gotta pee. Oh, it basically filled it out. Yes. Okay, move this. Looks like it's almost done. I'll make my brothers and then we can finally make ours. Good girl, Astra. Good girl. Yeah. Being with grandmas in the kitchen cooking. Mmm, pulpet. Is pulpet like the little meatballs? Is that the one? The word? Hey, you never know. Maybe you just like try and gather the ingredients that you could remember and like as you're doing it, you might have more memories come back and remember just exactly how she used to do it. <laughs> Green thing, yeah. No matter how many times people offered to help her, my Nona always declined the offer. That's like such a grandma thing to do. It's like, I don't want your help because you'll mess it up. <laughs> Checking the bottom, but that is looking so good. Okay, a bit more still, but we're getting there. 
definitely takes longer to cook this through. Might be because of the yam, because of the rice flour, the tapioca flour is just different. Deadly though. Patience with this one for sure. You almost need like two waffle irons going at once. Hey, has anyone ever used the waffle irons that has a double side to it? So you fill the one side, close it, and then you turn it over and do the other side. Those are interesting. They look fun to use, but they don't work as good as something as basic as this. Okay, I got green light again. I'll wait a little bit longer. Still doing good for timing though. I mean, to do something that we've never done before with an hour rest time, we're only three hours in. And we even made our first ever Vietnamese coffee together. Yeah, maybe Green Fang. Your DQ had that for waffles? Nice. Let that heat up while we dress this. So I think my brothers, I'll just pile it all onto it like this and let them take it apart the other way. So first things first, come in with our pineapples cooked with sugar and vanilla. This was a fresh pineapple that we cut up ourselves. So even pour some of that vanilla pineapple syrup over if you're feeling kind of crazy. Our whipped coconut cream. Samo said maybe a little bit bigger dollop. So we can do that. Whoa, a huge meat and veg grinder? That sounds amazing, really. Oh, that's a bit of the peel still. Okay, and then I think I'll just do this. Kind of just smoosh that stuff over the top. This mango is just perfectly ripe today too. Let the coconut cream peek out of it. And maybe this last piece of mango. Just rinse in my hands because all the fruit is sticky. Sticky and sweet. Allow that, first off. Yeah, the old grinder with the cast iron. Made of cast iron, you gotta turn it, so cool. I know, the mango looks so good. Okay, while this is warm, I'm gonna go bring this to my bro. I will be back. Samuel, thank you. Yeah, this is smoking too, so we can finally get ours going. That's the thing about being a chef, or if you're the designated cook in your household, is you're the typically the one that eats last. And that's okay. Because we should, like, find joy 
in seeing other people eat our food, right? And seeing them enjoy it as well. And well, you don't want to make your plate first and not be able to eat it and then work on everyone else's, right? We're finally almost there. And yeah, anyone wondering this waffle iron? The brand is Kitchen Living. <laughs> Would recommend. We've never had any issues. And we actually used this in the restaurant before when we were waiting for the waffle iron to come in when we first opened. So yeah, she's pumped out waffles. Hey, that is smoking. That's a better sizzle this time. Yeah. So basically fill it up then. You made ravioli yesterday? It took all day to cook and clean up after you and your brother's projects. They were good, but a little big and a little thick. Well, now you know what you can fix next time you do that, right? You know what to improve on, so it should turn out better the next time. And yeah, I often recommend cleaning as you're cooking through all of the processes. So when you finish one process, quickly clean up, gather all that stuff, clean up your station and then carry on. And that way, when you're done cooking, you don't just like stand back and get overwhelmed of how messy it is. Oh man, this one's really happy. It's even pushing the waffle iron up. Yes, please. You can have this one, it'll be better. That was the first ever one, so it's a bit more chewy. But it's still nummy. I like it. Just don't eat my mangoes. Need them for the photo. I can do more mango later. You know what's good? When the husband comes back for more ube waffles. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm excited to hear what Bran thinks of it. Bran, if you need more, just let us know. I'll bring another one. <laughs> I was like, Bran, do you want me to wait until after you're done to bring it over? He's like, no, I'll just take my gloves off. I'm ready to eat whenever. <laughs> yeah, good one, Green Fang. Sherman, I don't know if you use Discord at all, but we would love to see photos if you have any. This dog. Hey, what do you think you're doing, dog? You can mostly only see the sauce. That's okay. We still appreciate it. You got to show that. He means business. If I know coconut, you better be careful. First week in Thailand and you're, you're adjusting to all the new foods. You get backed up, the locals recommend a coconut smoothie. Should help out with digestion processes. So careful. <laughs> Not held liable. And mango too is known for its fiber. <laughs> yeah, oh wow. <laughs> Wilson, the more you know, the more you know. This steam? like literally just coconut steam does it just smell like a coconut house in here right now like walking back into this area and i mean we could have also done this if we're like oh it's not quite sweet enough drizzle some of the sweet and condensed milk over top use friends for the photo then? no why where's your pineapple right there Oh, okay. You're good then. I'm good. Well, I thought you had no pineapple. What, didn't Frank say that this was a, a symptom of caffeine overdose? Hallucinations. <laughs> Sam lost the pineapple.
Here we go. What? You're a waffle dog? I don't know if any of this stuff is good for you, so you can't have it. Right here. It is open. No, are you gonna open it? I wasn't going to. Okay. It's still steaming way too much, right, chat? That is a sign that she ain't done yet. But when we do, we'll switch to another cam so you can look at it nice, nice up close. No, no, I'm gonna see it. Mm. And then just catching up on Discord. Welcome in, Sherman Tank. And oh. 514 is dinner. Mm. Okay, I'm smelling it. It's almost done. I'm smelling caramelization. I'm just gonna peek. <laughs> it's time. Okay, you're taking a video. Spray it before we start dressing. I'm gonna move this. It's just stealing all my light, chat. It's true, Ohana means family. Seriously, so good. And I love this little crispage there. So did we like it plated more like this or torn up and kind of layered around? Also. Mm. I think I'm gonna do this. Boom. Yeah, it's got to go that way. Maybe that way. Yeah. That's how I would go present it to you. A dollop of our frutas. Whoa. Just enough coconut, really. Should we kind of fan the mango? Hi. We're fans of mango. Big fan. And did I see a femme chef? Welcome in. How have you been? I remember you. Have you been streaming still? Bam. Way too fancy. Wait, this one fell. Sneak it in. When in doubt, just add more. Okay. Oh, you own a video game studio now. Congratulations. That's really cool.
And so I'll show you the inside color of the waffle. When we eat it. Okay. First things first. Just gotta drop one more. Keep working. Think you're done? Think again. And so we learned we want to not see anything underneath. There we go. Boom. So maybe one, one to two more. And that'll be it. Life is weird. You're kind of doing the shady networking thing and popping into bone in streams and asking if any of my own buddies want to play our game. Probably would be better to like message people than doing it while they're live. But yeah, let's talk about it. Look at the stretch. It's chewy, crispy, it's actually so delicious tasting. What is the game? Mm. Mmm. Mmm. What the heck? All of the flavors. It's so good. It's a farm sim called Sunnyside? Oh, heck. I've always wanted to be a farmer. Last time we talked, I started a new job. Yeah, I'm actually working for myself now. So probably for weeks Yeah, I know. That's a long time ago. And yeah, it's the tapioca starch, Katie. So tapioca starch rice flour, which we actually fresh milled. I thought I had a pack of rice flour. Turns out I didn't, but I did have grain mill and rice. So I made my own. And then just a little bit of all purpose. What, this? No, making your own flour. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at how the coconut cream. Just melts. If you put it on the warm waffle. Yeah. Chad, what the heck? And honestly, it's okay, Femme Chef. Like, life happens. That's what I always say. I love the chew. Such good textural contrast. And this is key. The coconut cream kind of cuts through the sweetness of the fruit. And there is a good amount of sugar in the waffle batter. 200 grams. What will we get? Maybe six waffles total? Mmm. Pleasantly surprised. I'm also interested to see how I digest all of this new stuff that I don't typically eat. Katniss just harvested basil, put it in the new dehydrator. Good one. Preserving the season. And cooking girl, if I miss you, I'm sorry, hello. I love, is that a purple mushroom? Adorable. We are purple lover, lovers here. Okay, I wanna go ask my brother what he thought of this. Before I finish stream, this is, waffle is still cooking anyways. So I will be back momentarily. Yeah, super purple power. A leveler, a purple leveler. <laughs> Twitch waffles. 
So all we did, I'll show what we used for the ube today. We could have gone more purple, but I couldn't find the extract. And also the other thing I thought is like, if I buy this big jar of extract, am I actually going to use that? Probably not. I'll hold this up here. So grated purple yam, make sure it does say ube because the Okinawan sweet potato is not the same apparently. So yeah, super, super cool. This entire package, one pound frozen in the store with all the work done for you, right? Because it's already cooked and pureed. Like four bucks maybe? So inexpensive. So yeah, I'll be re-vacuum sealing that and popping it back in the freezer. <laughs> yes, B tree, I am in. And hi, Chris. How's your Sunday going? Annie, first two tests, 55 and 82. That's a pretty big margin there. What else can the ube be used for? We can make breads. Uh, like a custard sort of thing. This is my first intro into ube, so I am so excited. Let's see. If we pop up the recipe that we've been using today, first one there from Hungry We. Hungry Hui. I'm sure they have other ube recipes. Ube cheesecake, boba milk tea, crinkle cookies, cake, and now waffles. Haha. <laughs> Lots of stuff then. Ube noodles, good one. Okay, I will be back. Yeah, this is still cooking. Let's go see how my brother thought of it. The report is in. Number one, it's raining outside. Terrified for the roads right now. Number two, Randall loved it. One negative, near the end, he said it was getting a bit sweet. So maybe a bit more coconut cream then. Other than that though, he really liked the texture because it's like a lot of contrast between crispy and chewy, but not like rubbery. So just perfect, definite make again. He's like, if you had some bacon on the side for saltiness, that would be perfect. Drizzle of lemon juice, that would be good too. I thought the pineapple was a bit acidic before we cooked it. So I was like, I'll wait to add the lemon, but then I never added the lemon. So that probably would have made it perfect. But yeah, overall, super nummy. He's part of the clean plate club and the coffee is gone. And he says he's getting sweaty. So, bro, he's set up. <laughs> How's this one? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. You've mostly had rubbery waffles? Oh no. That makes me so sad. Okay, friends. We did it. We crushed this stream. It's 321 here. And we're looking for someone to go raid. Our Sunday streams, usually quick and easy Sundays. Absolutely delish. <laughs> yeah, that's so sad, right? Like I can see people get ruined on food when they have it the first time made improperly. And then after that, I can understand why you would never want to try it again. Oh, Sammy. Wilson redeemed some points. Cooking with Lardy. Yes. And Stacy Roy. Thank you, Wilson, for redeeming your pots and pans points. We will definitely go raid them. I always like to experience new streamers. Pineapple yum. Yeah, I am going to finish the rest of this and keep waffling here. So, so good, though. I'm so happy that, like, I saw the ube puree in the store the other week while we were streaming for our IRL stream. Now we can make more purple thins. Keep waffling. That's your next tattoo. Hey. Boom. Raid has been set. Thank you guys for the wonderful weekend of streaming here on Twitch, cooking up the deliciousness, spreading the deliciousness, and hopefully we inspired you to also make delicious food for yourself and others. Thank you for the follow as well, Z Zzump. Okay, cool, Wilson, that'll be fun then. And thanks, Nessie. Really sweet people. Perfect then. Yeah, happy to see you too, Fem Chef. Glad to hear that you're doing good. And yeah, if you want to chat, just feel free to message me. I am here. All right. Also want to say real quick before we end, thank you for the awesome hype train today, friends. Appreciate all the love, the bitlies, the subs. Everything matters to us. And most importantly, just spending time here. That's the big one. Other than that, we'll be back tomorrow streaming. We always plan our menu for the upcoming week on Mondays. So 11 a.m. Pacific is when we'll be live again tomorrow. If you want to get some input into what we cook, see you then. Otherwise, I'm going to hit this button. And let's go see what Lardy is up to. Oh, the industrial rubber waffles. <laughs> Terrible sentence right there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hit the button. Bye! Bye!